It's the Clash of the Titans, the Morehouse Maroon Tigers versus the Clark Atlanta Panthers next on AUC Sports. A rivalry on the books. Um, there's no athletic rivalry on the books. There's no nothing. There's little things like when they had a bell, you know, Clark students used to run over, ring their bell, and they would come out as if they were gonna fight or something like that. Some guys from uh, Brawley Hall, one of the freshman male dorms at Clark Atlanta, rang the bell, and it was all this chaos, and all the guys from the house came running across the campus. We're talking about rivalry, it wasn't just rivalry; it was sports. It was rivalry. Everything. It's right across the street. You know, we don't like them. We don't like us. Every, every school has to have a rival, and it just so happens the whole rival is Clark. There certainly is competition and a rivalry among the schools. It shows up on the athletic field and certainly in football. Uh, and it is true. Uh, we feel like we've had a, an excellent season uh, if we beat Morehouse. And I think Morehouse feels the same way about us. Are you ready for some football? Touchdown, Panthers! We'll be right back after these messages. And HBCU is a historically black college or university where the enrollment is predominantly African American. Atlanta University Center in its present day is pretty much a collaboration of institutions because of location. Originally it started off with an agreement between three of the schools, Morehouse College, Spelman College, and Atlanta University, um, and then Clark College and Morris Brown joined. There is no longer a bound agreement or contractual agreement between the schools, but it's considered the center because we're all right next to each other. Touchdown Panthers! I guess it's just we so close to each other, we can walk, we can knock on their door, and they can knock on our door. I think that's why we have a rival. I don't think it's necessarily they think they're better than us, because other black colleges think they're better than us, too. I go to Morehouse, and uh, I, just, I get that in some instances, but then it goes back to you being an individual. Yeah, it's a false sense of elitism, uh, and I think that sometimes you can have a reality shock when you get out, and you realize, well, that doesn't necessarily make any difference. They gas them up from day one. When they step on the yard, they gas up to believe that they're better than us. It starts when we come here as freshmen and we just hear terrible stories and then like sometimes some people just think they're better than other people and it's just, you know, on some dumb stuff. The president at like Spum or whatever, like she actually drills into her students that you are the best amongst all the rest. Like not saying that's a bad thing, but like don't put me down when you are the same level with me, you know what I'm trying to say? And then like the Morehouse people, I don't know what they talk about in theirs, but they just come out of orientation thinking that they're God or something like that. And it's like, I'm not saying, I'm not assuming it, I've seen it. Morehouse and Spelman students are just just a lot more smart, just a lot smarter than, uh, than Clark. Yeah, I got a class at Clark. Got a class at Clark. And I'm really the smartest kid in my class, critical thinking. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that. I don't know if you guys are going to see it. I'm definitely smarter than you. It should be along the lines as, you know, appreciating your institution and not necessarily putting yourself on a pedestal above other students. But they kind of pump your head up, you know, in so much spirit that you think, you know, nothing's better than your institution. But, um, like, I guess it's that and you get a collective minds all together, you know, all in one. I mean, that, that's kind of a strong force, you know. Of course they're going to have a better institution. They have a better alumni, I mean. But little things just tweak things. And now you know you you think you this this and that when all the grand scheme of things, no matter what, you still a nigger. Okay, I beat you, man. 
down at the Sigma Zeta house at 2526, the low drive in East Point at 6 o'clock p.m. For more information, 404-559-9022. You're watching the AUC Unity Game, brought to you by AUC Sports. Touchdown, Panthers! The CAU Panthers, 25. Tigers 10. I don't know the problem I have is, you know, when you claim to be so much better than us, you're always on our campus, you take classes on our campus. I'm totally smarter than all those kids in Clark. I had the highest grade. I don't even attend class and I still get the highest grade. They don't understand stuff. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? Kind of popular, kind of a big deal. <laughs> a lot of students um, take classes here at Clark, and what I mean by that, the majority of our classes here at Clark, but still graduate with a Morehouse degree, i.e. Spike Lee. Even though we did some of our chemistry here, and we did a lot of our chemistry over at Morehouse, it was never chemistry at Morehouse. Right. It was a Clark student who went over to do a Morehouse class. It was a Morehouse student who came over to do a, a class at Clark. A lot of their students, they come here after they graduate to get their graduate degree, so. Team. Morehouse has taught me many things. I believe you more than Clark. However, I do plan on continuing my graduate studies at Clark, which is ironic. You know, when you think about the different programs that people had, there were certain classes you couldn't take anywhere else. You know, there was a hospitality restaurant curriculum at Morris Brown. You couldn't take that at any other school. There was only mass communications at Clark. You couldn't take that anywhere, <laughs> you know. At, there was a time where Spelman didn't have any science classes. So if you were pre-med at Spelman, you were taking your classes at Clark or Morehouse or Morris Brown. So to me, the this, this center really didn't function without each other. You cross-applied. Depending on what you majored in, is, it depends where you went to school. Spellman what we gets a lot of heat from Clark, from the women who attend Clark Atlanta. Just because they go to Spellman and they go to Clark, Spellman girls think they're better. Clark girls don't like girls from Spellman. They think we're stuck up. They think that Spellman girls think that they're the bomb and all this other stuff, which isn't really true. And I think that that hinders a lot because they have that stereotype, that block mm -hmm. from them like feeling comfortable to be like build friendship. They have this belief that they're better. Like I remember the first week of school, like I didn't know any of them. All the people from Spelman I ever met are rude and nasty because they go to Spelman. Back in the day when there used to be seagulls, which is no more, um, 